Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna talk a bit about signaling on WebRTC with the Android. There's been quite a few tutorials before this, so so if you wanna stay on the same page with me, I expect you to check to, uh, out some of the samples, or at least to be familiar with the WebRTC peer connection, rendering video, and uh, how basically WebRTC works. The uh, offer answer this protocol because I'm not gonna talk a lot about this now. So I have this media stream activity from before and it has no networking but it displays a video using peer connection. So there is a layout, one surface view and another one. Uh, the top one is uh, rendered from camera and second one is uh, using the peer connection and it didn't need any networking because it was just on one client so basically there was uh, two clients in one application but in uh, real life of course you would use two clients and here comes the signal server the server that's uh, used for by you before peer connection is set up and here's the media stream activity the basic like uh, all-in-one client activity and you just need to send this session description to another client when creating an offer. And uh, creating answer, of course, should be from the second client, not in here. And uh, when second client creates an answer, he need to send the ses his session description to the first client, of course, using signaling service. So basically just those two lines for sending session descriptions and uh, this one to send uh, ice candidates and that's basically uh, all that needs to be done for basic signaling service you can choose any server type you want but uh, i've used the socket uh, io server from uh, google code lab for webrtc and it's really basic server just to set uh, those uh, json objects from one client to another it doesn't store anything so your uh, two clients need to be connected to server to receive data and here's the whole server uh, the most important stuff goes in the message event which is used for creating offers answers and sending nice candidates those are the types that we're gonna send using Signaler server. And I deployed this server to Heroku hosting. There is also a web uh, client for it, so using my URL you can open it in browser and use it as a web client as well if you don't have a second Android phone. So here's the activity that I've created and uh, let's just go briefly through it. Basically, it's the same media stream activity, but with adding socket.io. I'm using a socket.io client for Android. And it, its API are really similar to JavaScript's one. So, and here it is. I just connect to my server. And uh, here are the events that I handle. Once again, first client waits uh, for second one to connect to the room and then creates an offer and sends it to the signaling server. The message which says uh, got user media is uh, sent when uh, another client is connected. Once uh, the first client that's connected to receive that, he can create an offer and it's the same as you've seen before. I create a offer from my local peer connection. There is no more remote peer connection in here because that's handled by another client already. To send uh, the session description, I use socket.io. So here it is. And here's uh, what session description actually looks like. There is just two fields, which is type uh, as you can see, it's in those three types. And the description string. And I just built a JSON object with those two fields and send it to another client. 
A second client will uh, go here and check in for type, which is gonna be a, an offer over here. Parse this uh, session description and set it as remote over here and uh, create an answer. Receiving a local session description, setting it as local and, and sending it to the signal server the type answer and here you can see the handle for answer type but it's the same as for offer just set in the remote description and after that we exchange uh, ice candidates which is going in here in peer connection observer and ice candidates has uh, three fields same i put them in a json object with the field names that uh, this server handles i didn't change any logic here so i've just used the same logic as used there and send it to the server and that's it once the signaling is done and everything is uh, set up correctly the the on add stream method will be called which has a remote video track and i'm setting it to display and uh, and it's gonna be displayed in this surface view so as you see WebRTC signaling is not that hard i mean it's uh, very basic there is no handling for turn server which uh, I'm gonna talk later. Anyway, you can check the source code uh, on GitHub. The link is gonna be in the description. And uh, if you don't have a second Android phone, you can open this link in your browser and use a web client to test it out. There are plenty of bugs in here and uh, I'm gonna continue working on it later. So stay tuned and click like if you liked it. Talk to you later.